The date is July the 15th, 1976, as the Bloomington Phoenix leaves Boston at the start of the Transatlantic Coal Ships Race. As spectator craft crowd the waters, the 26 crew members of Phoenix prepare to set sail for their 3,000 mile voyage to Plymouth. Morning, my passing parade. We're getting three beer thrown at us. This is work, how it works. As the days passed, the crew fell into a steady ship routine on Phoenix. At daybreak, the first job of the port wake watch would be to take down and clean out the paraffin navigation lights. There were electric ones as well, but to use these meant running the generator all night. I'm 
moment. The next job would be to wake the 8 to 12 watch, deep in slumber on the half deck below. retired below to breakfast. Meanwhile, the first job of the forenoon watch was to scrub down the decks and clean out the chickens. The morning watch would clean out the ship down below after their breakfast.
bad work, continued in the cabin, starting with the washing up after breakfast. The mate is a sign of the bones and work that we walk in here by. Take off your thunder jacket. Fresh bread was made each day, and by the end of the voyage, Richard, a student dentist, had become quite a professional baker. As soon as I finished me feed, me boys, the wind began to blow, and turn me up in the air. By 11 o'clock, George and his two galley workers should be well ahead with the lunch preparation, and dealing with the final details before the first sitting at 11.30. Every day at about 12 o'clock, out would come the sextants for the noon sight, so that the skipper knew how far he had or had not progressed. Meanwhile, the day workers continued to plod on with their work.
When the weather was calmer, the crew would take the opportunity to carry out many of the necessary chores on board. Life at sea is much like life at home in many ways. Even in the mid-Atlantic, the skipper wanted to keep his hair in trim. continue to take moon sights, although Dieter told us gloomily seven times a day that we would never make it to Plymouth. George the cook reckoned that a sea cook's life was one big chore. With only two pints of fresh water per crew member per day, it was wise to keep as clean as possible with salt water. Salt water was used to make the soup and for cooking the vegetables in as well, but it sometimes found its way into the coffee too. <laughs> After several weeks at sea, beards began to get a bit straggly and Tony took on the job of ship's barber. <laughs> Eddie was promoted to head gardener during the voyage, and all the plants survived the Plymouth. Women's lib did not exist on Phoenix, and with only two females on board, Jenny was lumbered. Being nearly becalmed, Mike and Casper set to work making up a spread. Eleven days of the boy 
carriage was spent becalmed, which left plenty of time for lashing the ship's wheel and taking a plunge into the clear blue Atlantic water. for a floating Tesco's in the form of a passing ship. The numerous ships were sighted during the voyage, but the skipper was not keen to stop on for food until we were really desperate. Well, you are going to have a new job. We're going to have a new job. Did you tell him we're going to have a new job? Slowing right up now. There's probably some really starch gentleman on the bridge saying five points to start with.
30th was a sad day when we saw the end of Ermintrude, who would fall now and had to be executed and given a watery grave. Gloria, Gloria, this is Phoenix. 
Phoenix. Uh, read you loud and clear. Over. Uh, would you please slowly? Gloria, this is Phoenix. Brigantine Phoenix. How do you read me? Over. Okay. Gloria, this is Phoenix. Yes, we saw you in Bermuda. We saw you in Bermuda. Where are you bound now? Make all below. 
Hey, fellas, this took the watch is called the longest home exact. Relieve the wheel, go down below, according to the act. So, oh, oh, the boys, you were the main race, and ease away you leave. Hoist, chip, and top, so lads, and let the ship go free. Shout, boys, shout, I'll tell you, it's a fact. There's nothing done on the land, your ship can carry to the act.